Good morning. I thank God for his powerful word to his people. I thank God for the scriptures. I thank God for the Bible. I thank God that in the Bible, God reveals who he is. In the Bible, God reveals his will. In the Bible, God reveals his desires for my life. Most blessed, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7, most blessed is the person who believes in, trusts in, relies on, and whose hope and confidence is in the Lord. For they shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out its roots by the river. It shall not see and fear when heat comes, but its leaf shall be green. It shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought, nor shall it cease yielding fruit. I love the imagery. I love the picture it paints of this tree that is likened to a person that will trust in, find confidence in, rely on God. Are you that person? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, the psalmist says. Blessed happy, fortunate, to be envied, is the person who trusts in and takes refuge in the Lord. Are you that person? I want to encourage you to lean on, to trust in, to be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, my brother, my sister, I want you to know and recognize and acknowledge the Lord. He will direct and make straight and plain your parts. I've just stated Proverbs chapter 3 from verses 5 to 6 in the Amplified Classic Version. So whatever you're going through, I want us to stand and determine to trust in, to find confidence in the Lord. How do we do that? Thank God he has revealed himself in the scriptures. Thank God he has revealed his will in the scriptures. Thank God he has told us what we are or who we are in Christ Jesus in the scriptures. Thank God he directs our steps through his word. And as the psalmist says, how can a young person keep his words pure? He answers and says, by living according to the word of God. He goes on to say, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Right now, as the psalmist speaks in different psalms, that the word of God will guide me. The word of God will give me counsel. And his counsel, his advice, it stands forever. His word will not return empty or void, but it shall accomplish that which he pleases. God's word will inspire hope in any hopeless situation. God's word will inspire an expectation when expectations have been frustrated, expectations that were inspired by men's promises, expectations that were inspired by government promises, those expectations that came tumbling down as a result of failure by men to honor their word. Thank God that we will trust in the name of the Lord. We will trust in the word of God, the name of the Lord and his word is our strong tower. We find refuge, we find rest in his word and in the Lord, in Jesus name. His word is our final authority. His word will inspire hope and expectation. That hope and expectation will never lead to frustration because God is able to fulfill his word. Nothing is impossible with God. What God says he will do, he is able to do it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. It's Pastor Busane. Have a wonderful weekend.